Oh man, agua chile. Man, it doesn't get any better than this. Agua chile, perfect, acidic, so much flavor, intense, spicy, so refreshing. What's up guys, welcome back to Solorio Eats. It's Sunday, that means a new cooking video. So today we're gonna make agua chile. If you guys are not familiar with agua chile, it is a form of ceviche, but I think it's the better version of ceviche. So I'll be walking you, walking you guys through making this whole recipe. It's very simple, it's very delicious, and it's great for these really hot summer months. Super refreshing. Um, but if you guys are new to the channel, I will be dropping a new video every Sunday at noon. So make sure you guys subscribe and follow along. Um, all the recipes that I do make will be easy for you guys to follow at home. So nothing complicated. It's gonna be stuff that you guys can make along at home with stuff you can get at the store. Um, so yeah, let's just jump into it and I'll show you guys how to make this awesome ceviche called agua chile. All right, so making any agua chile, you're gonna need seafood. And what I like to use is white fish, but I couldn't find any good white fish. So I went with shrimp. You know, we don't have to break the bank for this. We don't need a fishmonger for this. I just got this at my local supermarket in the frozen aisle section. And I just let it thaw out in the fridge for a few days. You know, I don't want to run my shrimp underwater because I don't want to lose that nice seafood flavor. You know, if we run it underwater, it's going to take away that nice seafood flavor. We don't want that. I got mine, you know, uh, devein. You know, we don't want to deal with none of that funk coming back from the backside. And then we're going to start peeling away at our shells one by one. You know, we're just going to peel back the little tail fin pieces, tear those off, and then we can peel the shells right off. Now that we've got it, all of our shells taken off, it's time to cut our shrimp in half. You know, normally if we had bigger shrimp, I would kind of dice this up. But since we have a smaller shrimp, I'm just gonna cut them in half. And that's gonna be good enough for us. And it's gonna be still fine for it to, you know, marinate and cook in the citrus. Now that we have all of our shrimp cut in half and in our bowl, now it's time to talk about how we're going to marinate this thing and everything that's gonna go into our agua chile. Agua chile, agua chile. All right. So we're gonna start off with some lime or limon, whatever you guys call it out there. And then we're gonna also need some cilantro. Cilantro, cilantro. And then one half of red onion. We're gonna need a uh, cucumber. We're gonna utilize this two ways. It's gonna be in the marinade and also in the mix along with the red onion. Uh, and then we're gonna need one serrano pepper. Actually, we're gonna throw a couple in there. Uh, but yeah, serrano is key to any agua chile. Now let's start by uh, cutting our cucumber. We're gonna cut it in half. Half we're gonna use for the marinade, blend it up. And the other half we're gonna use for garnish in our mix with our agua chile shrimp. All right, so we're gonna take it. We're gonna cut it down lengthwise. We're gonna save half for the marinade. Put that off to the side. And then we're gonna take it and just slice it on down as thin as you like. I like to keep mine a little a little bit thicker, a little bit more of a crunch. You know, it's kind of it's kind of if you cut it too thin, it's gonna get you know kind of too soft in the marinade. So you want to cut it a little bit thick. Then we're gonna toss it into our bowl along with the shrimp that we already you know cut in half. Now that we've added our cucumber, it's time to cut our red onion. So I'm just gonna cut it in half. I'm only gonna be using half in this and this is gonna be for garnish going in with our shrimp and our uh, sliced cucumber. Um, we don't want any more than that. We don't want the, the red onion to overpower the dish. We just kind of want that a little bit of that crunchy, crunchy note and a little bit of that like oniony flavor in there. So we're just gonna go with half and we're just gonna take it and kind of slice it down, um, kind of julienne style. You can make it as thin or as thick as you want. I like to go thinner. Now that we've got it all sliced up, add it to our cucumber and our shrimp right in the bowl. It's starting to turn into a party in there. Just toss away, baby, just toss away. Now that I've cut my other half of cucumber into pieces, you know, it's easy for me to toss into my blender. It's gonna make it easy for me to blend. 
and I'm not gonna add any water. All the juice that's gonna come out of the cucumbers is gonna be enough for our marinade. So you don't need to add any water to this. We're gonna take three serrano peppers. Yeah, three serrano peppers. That's the spice we're gonna need for this. It's gonna be a little devilish. You want that heat? That is what makes, this is what makes our chili, serrano peppers. The more, the better. It's all to preference how much heat you can take. I like a lot of heat, so I'm adding more. And we're going to any ceviche. This style is our chile. We're going to need limes. You know, the acid, that's what's going to cook this whole thing. So the more, the merrier. It's going to make this thing acidic. It's what's going to cook the shrimp. So I'm just going to cut them in half. And then we're just going to juice them right into the blender but before we get to that we're gonna need cilantro you know it's gonna make it very aromatic this stuff is delicious take some of the stems in there as well that has a stronger flavor stronger cilantro flavor and that's what we're going to need if you think this tastes like soap that sucks for you i don't understand how you think this tastes like soap because this stuff is amazing for tacos and everything else so we're gonna start adding all of our lime juice in here one by one get you a little lemon squeezer like I have here. You can get all the juice out. You know, it's like your abuelita used to have at her house. You definitely gonna need this, just like grandma had. Squeeze all of it. Make sure you get every last bit of that juice. That's what we're going to need for this whole thing. Now that we've got everything situated in our blender, now it's time to let this thing rip. Start it out slow and just crank that bad boy all the way. Oh man, we forgot. Don't forget your, not your grandma's salt. All right, this isn't your granny salt. This is regular kosher salt. All right, people, add that in there. A couple of shakes. Now it's time to let it rip. Once again, start it up, chill it on there. Start it out slow. We're gonna crank this bad boy all the way up. All right, just let this bad boy rip. Don't worry about it. All that cucumber juice is gonna come right out. It's gonna keep going, keep blending it. Keep spinning it. It's definitely gonna go. Keep going, there you go. Let it rip. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what we're talking about. I'm just gonna keep blending this bad boy up. It's gonna go fast. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. All right, now that we've got this whole thing blended, now it's time to pour this green devilish sauce over our shrimp, our cucumbers, and our red onions. Oh man, look at that sexy sauce. Just let it soak up in there. Now it's time to mix this all up, make sure everything's fully incorporated. We want all of our shrimp to touch that uh, lemon, that lime juice, that acidity. You know, we want this to be cooked all the way through with the acid. So we're gonna toss it and turn it, you know, leave nothing on, on sauce. We want everything to be sitting in the marinade. And here we are. Oh baby, yeah, there you go. Now that we've got everything fully incorporated, everything is saucy, it's time to pat everything down and we're gonna cover it with plastic wrap. We gotta make sure that we push the plastic wrap not over the bowl, but you want it to press up against your seafood mixture, your agua chile. You know, we don't want any air pockets. We want, to, we want everything to sit tight and to really marinate and really cook together in the citrus. We want all those flavors to really incorporate. So now we have to let this bad boy sit in the fridge for a minimum of 12 hours. In the meantime, we can play some video games or drink some beer. Oh baby, agua chile. Just like abuelita used to make. All right, welcome back. So we've been, letting, we've been letting this thing sit in the fridge and chill for 12 hours now. It's been marinating in there. You know, just absorbing all that love that we put into it. But look, this thing looks amazing. It smells amazing. I really can't wait to get into this thing. So if you guys have never made a ceviche before, um, so the acid in the lime juice is what helps cook down the shrimp. So essentially what it does is it starts to burn the protein and break it down. And that's what cooks it. That's what makes it turn white and makes it look like it's cooked and it is cooked it's safe to eat so don't be worried about maybe i'm eating 
raw shrimp because it's not raw. It's been cooked. It's been marinated in the citrus. It's fully safe to eat. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to build this thing. So the next step is I'll show you guys how to plate it, you know, kind of modern way, and then the way, you know, just crush it. All right, to finish our agua chile, we're gonna need an aguacate. That's right, avocado. And after we get this bad boy cut in half, gonna cut it down the center and take it down the center of the avocado and just go all the way around. And we're just gonna split this bad boy in half. And as you see, we got our pit, our seed. We're just gonna take the back side of our knife and take it out. Just be real careful, don't cut yourself. All right, we're gonna peel back the skin on this thing. Shouldn't be too hard. Make sure that your avocados are ripe. This one's a little green. Now we're gonna take our avocado and just cut out some slices that we're gonna use to eat with our agua chile. Nothing better than agua chile with avocado. Our agua chile is ready to go. Now it's time to plate this bad boy up. Now that this bad boy is plated up, there's no other way to eat agua chile than tostadas. You can make your own, but this is my preference of tostada. I like to use these all the time when I eat at home. So now it's just time to load this bad boy up right into the tostada. Just slap this thing right on there. You know, generous helping. You don't wanna go lit on this thing. You really want to crush this thing, right? So get some of that shrimp, that cucumber, the cilantro, the red onion. And you know, you want to get a little bit of that sauce on there as well. Get a couple of helpings on there. Just let it drip. So there we go, tostada. Add a little bit of that sauce right on top. Finish it off. Damn, this thing looks good. Oh man, this is good. Doesn't get better than this. So good, I just need a beer. So once again, thank you guys for watching. Um, I had fun making this agua chile for you guys today. So you guys can just follow this recipe at home. And remember, every Sunday at noon, new video, new food video will drop. So once again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you get Make sure you guys subscribe and until next time, love you guys.